What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hash for Hub. It's about 8.22 a.m., March 21st, 2018. We got a brand-new trading video coming right to you. This is going to be on Bitcoin, as many before have it been as well. Uh, but first, uh, if you're new to us, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Get over to Steam it and DTube and subscribe there as well. An upvote, a re-steam would be uh, all greatly appreciated. Um, I know some people are having some problems uh, getting accounts on Steam it and DTube. Uh, you know, thanks. Thank you very much for trying. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure that I'll get. You know, you'll get. Uh, you'll get that account soon. But thank you very much. Also, I think there's been a little bit of um, um, uh, maybe misinformation. Some people think that uh, that only DTube and Steam it have uh, low res uh, videos. That's not necessarily uh, the case at all. At all, it's actually not the case at all. I upload the exact same video to those uh, to those platforms as I do to YouTube. The only difference is that sometimes with DTube and Steam it, they'll then go ahead and choose to play it back at a lower at a lower resolution. But all you need to do is I'll show you right here. All you need to do, this is actually DTube right here, but all you need to do is just click on the gear right at the bottom here and choose on the quality, choose source. And you can choose any type of any type of quality you want and just choose source and it's going to be exactly the same high resolution that you get uh, on on YouTube so I just wanted to show that there um, just for informational purposes um, but let's let's get right into the the nuts, the nuts and bolts of things here um, so a few things that I uh, uh, that I w want to mention is uh, just this overall uh, arching theme of divergence and I'm going to start talking about that a little bit more uh, from what I'm seeing especially right now and right now one of the things that I'm looking at is right here okay we had this top right here right on the RSI and then we also have this right here okay so what's happening here so if we look at this top here versus this one right here I mean these two tops are basically the same exact height I think the one on the right is actually slightly higher but as far as RSI is concerned, it's much lower. Also, the same thing here. This is on a 30-minute basis. This is on um, on uh, on balance volume. You can see coming right across the top right here, we've basically have hit this plateau. Okay, we've hit this plateau, and look, we're 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 below it right now. So this leading me to believe that possibly some volume is being sucked out of the market okay there's less volume in the market I want to go ahead and I want to extend this something that I've drawn a long long time ago a long time ago probably a day or two ago right and right now if you look we're kind of like in this wedge formation you know would you look at that right we're kind of in this wedge formation and hey that's definitely a valid a valid formation you know you can use these formations on on uh, indicators as I've mentioned many times before so that's what I'm looking at on a 30 minute basis okay let's look at a little bit more on, on an Elliott wave count and um, one thing I want to mention here is this ascending wedge okay in the beginning I was thinking that it was a, a, a channel but I was hoping and thinking that maybe it would come back down and it would hit this channel again but what we're also doing is we're also seeing is you know as I mentioned many times before in the past that there can be multiple patterns at the same time and they all can be in effect all right I know it makes things a little bit more complicated but that's totally the case um, <clears throat> so there's a ascending wedge uh, right here pattern that I see is, that, that seems to be playing out and that's a good thing that means that this is only gonna last just so long before there's some sort of decision has to be made another thing I want to mention is this you know, we had spoken about that if the market were to kind of make a break above these highs right here, this high of about 9,051, I think we were calling about 9,050, that, you know, it could be a potential place to go ahead and place it and, 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 and place a trade. It would be super, super um, um, uh, uh, aggressive. But, hey, you know, that's if that's the way you want to play it. That's the way you can play it. You know, another way to go ahead and play it is on this dip right here. Where uh, you could have gotten in right here, uh, which was this, which was this low, right here. Okay, um, and that's another way to go ahead and play it and moving it back up. But if if you had purchased it, you know, over here, right around this 9,050 level, and the market moved up and it came back down here, our stop losses would be basically right here. That would be basically as as aggressive as I would make it. Okay, so we wouldn't have been stopped out. 
Um, but still at the same time, this is a time to get out. All right, this is a time to get out right now, especially if you bought right here. Um, if you bought here, yeah, okay, fine, you have more room for it to run back down, but I would probably also get out here here as well because of what I'm seeing, also the, you know, what I'm seeing because of the divergences here on RSI and on balance volume, but also the fact that volume overall is, is tailing off. I'm not seeing this buy volume coming in, and we have a ton of congestion, ton of resistance to get through. You can pick all sorts of different resistance levels. I mean, my, my next resistance level, really, the large one is right here, about 9,000, you know, the top's right here, 9,000, you know, call it 900, right? Okay. Um, I think this is wrong. I have to update this. I don't know why they're saying 9,665. I think it's about 9,900. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, that's, that, that's what we're seeing there. Another thing I want to pull up real quick is... The, uh, is the Laguerre RSI, because I haven't spoken about it for some time, but it's not that I'm not looking at it in intently. Um, and yeah, the Laguerre RSI is, is hitting a top right here, okay? It's hitting a top right here, and you know, obviously you'll be looking to cross back down again. Another thing too is that, look, we've had this top, it crossed under, right? Top, cross under, top, cross under. It didn't quite make it to oversold territory. Top, there's just so long this can happen, okay, before it has to go into oversold uh, territory, all right? And, and this just does not look so great to me. If this thing would, if this thing would shoot up to 9,900 and I was out of the trade, I would not be upset, okay, because I want to protect my profits. So um, let's look at things on an hour basis. Uh, real quick, okay. Same thing on an hour basis as far as Lagara RSI. You know, it topped here, tried to make a bottom here, couldn't. It went back up again, and then it, um, and now it's topping, and now it's looking like it's it's going to go back down again. All right. So um, that's what we're seeing there. We're also seeing on the on the on the one hour basis as far as RSI. You know, we see this divergence as well. Okay, right here. It's 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 beginning. All right, right, right over here. All right. So, yes, I know we had one right here, right? And then the market still shot up. Um, and we have, we're, starting, we're starting to have one here. And the market, yeah, it could still shoot up. But, this, but the probabilities are not in, your, not, in your, not in your favor. All right? Probabilities are not in your favor. Um, so, next thing I want to go over real quick is uh, the count, okay? Um... And, you know, I see some people, <laughs> you know, <laughs> making fun of, you know, Elliott Wave Theory, one, two, all this guy says, one, two, three, four, five, and ABCs. Okay, cool. Um, you know, open your eyes a little bit, please. Um, I mean, don't please. I mean, you don't have to do it for me. But please do keep trading. Please keep trading because uh, I'd like to take your money. <laughs> I'm sorry. And everybody else that's paying attention to this stuff, and is and is starting to really read up on Elliott wave theory and and um, and all the other types of things that I'm speaking about here. Um, you know, I'm hoping you are you're doing pretty well, um, and I am getting a fair amount of feedback that you guys are are doing pretty damn well. So um, keep up the good work. For those that are naysayers about this stuff, all I would say is just clear your mind out for a few weeks. Okay, just clear your mind out for a few weeks. And start reading up on this stuff. Become pretend you're in school again, and you're studying. And you're studying this stuff. Okay, um, it takes a lot of effort. It takes a ton of effort. And if you're not willing to put it in, you're not going to get it. Um, and listen, it's not. I don't. I don't make any money by doing this. You know. I mean, this is this is, this is I'm doing for free. Um, you know, take take it or leave it. If you if, if you don't feel it's useful, just just leave it. That, hey, whatever. Cool. Um, you know, no sweat off my back. Um, um, but I will ask you to continue to trade. <laughs> anyway, so, um, uh, yeah, so last night we were thinking possibly this is the end of the fifth. Um, and yeah, that, that very well could have been the case. Um, uh, you know, we could be having kind of like, an, uh, you know, uh, an ABC that kind of goes in a, in a, in a weird formation, formation. Um, or possibly this could be the fifth right here. Sometimes there's sometimes things that are, that look like almost like double fifths. Okay, all right. So um, 
this that, uh, that's what one way to go ahead and take a look at. Another way to go ahead and take a look at it is that possibly that the fifth is really up over here. All right. So, um, hold on one second, please. Sorry, noise in the background. All right. So, um, yes, this right here could be the this right here could be the fifth. Let's go ahead and take a look at this on an extension basis, real concern, uh, r r real quickly. So, let's say, for example, this is the one, this is the two, right down here, and then yes, the three would be somewhere about this 1.618 um, uh, right here, if 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 that if that were the case, right? But that doesn't necessarily um, mean that this is not the three, right? This could be the three, and this could be five right here, and we have and, and we have a uh, five that almost makes it to the 2.618. All right. Does that make Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense to you. So, um, this is also a, a possibility. I mean, it's not out of the realm. Okay. And um, uh, if we if we go ahead and try to and go ahead and try to count this, you know, you can count five waves inside of here. Right, so this, this, there's no reason why this could not be the fifth wave. Okay, you can easily count five waves uh, in, in, inside of here. So, um, yeah, what we'd be looking for if this is the case, we'd be looking for some sort of corrective ABC, right? So maybe this is the maybe this is the A, maybe this is B, and we're going to have another a C coming down, and then we would be looking for excuse me another five waves coming up. Because remember, this is this is wave one. We have wave two, and now we're wave, we're looking for wave we're looking for uh, for, for for wave three. Okay, so um, yeah, so that's really uh, really about it for right now. I gotta see if I can update these uh, uh, resistance lines. Um, I think this is not right. I think I think trading view is screwing me up I think it's giving me an old version of my chart um, as far as this is concerned it's done this many times before but let me go ahead and update all this uh, give me one sec okay guys so um, I updated these uh, support and resistance line so four hour support is eight thousand seven hundred and ninety three and the one hour support is eight thousand eight hundred and eighty eight which is basically these bottoms right here you can actually see this thing is selling off uh, as it is um, so uh, I I'm trying to get this video out as quickly as possible to you guys. Daily resistance is 9,665. Remember, resistance, not support, resistance, okay? Because we're still in an overall downtrend, all right? We're still in this overall downtrend. Um, so the support on, uh, is on just on a four-hour and a one-hour basis. Um, I'm also leaving this line up here of 9,900 approximately right here um, because, uh, you know, I'll just call it actually just 9,900 even. Um, because it's really this top right here, and I believe this is one of the next major uh, resistance levels. Um, but so, I, but I also am calculating this one here of 9,665. Uh, so we're going to leave it there for right now. Um, and uh, yeah, happy trading.